You must be one of those part-timers. I'm Cunningham. I'm the supervisor of the Killer Man in Enemy Section 5. I'll be right with you. We need to go over employee rules and what work you'll be required to do. Oh, this is Reporter Yorg. He is here to check out our amusement park and actually write an exclusive article for us. Nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> First, you've got to remember the basic duties. There's the park facility control room. When you go through the room... Chief, you're not going to believe what happened. What is it? One of the Killer Man costumes is missing. What's the big deal? I'm sure one of you guys left it somewhere in the room. Don't lose your cool. Just take your time and look for it. It'll show up soon. But what if it doesn't show up? There's no way we can just ignore this thing, you know. Each costume costs 20 million dollars. Jason, as you can see, this isn't a good time, as I've got guests at the moment. We can talk about this later, if you don't mind. Oh, and as for you, I'll go over the instructions with you later on. While you're waiting, why not visit the park facility control room? Don't forget the ID card, I... Guess I'd better tell you where to find it. Take a look by the exit. It'll be right there. Well, Jorg, sorry for the interruption. Shall we continue? Let me show you our monitor room. This way, please. I guess I'll start looking around backstage. Killer man, Jason, it must be Jason. Hello, this is him. Manager Cunningham. And look, another killer star. <laughs> I don't know about that. If Jason is the murderer, then why would he bother reporting to Cunningham about a missing killer man's costume? Um, I don't think a murderer would report the costume is missing, especially if he was going to wear the thing. <laughs> Charlie? Anyway, I wonder why the killer keeps killing worker after worker. First thing we should do is find Jason. But that place is restricted to authorized personnel only. We can't get in there. I thought so. Well, yeah. Cunningham has been killing the workers for some unexplainable reason. Not only that, he tried to finger Jason for the murders and cover up anything incriminating. Just when Jason was trying to tell me something pertinent to the crimes, Cunningham murdered him in cold blood, right in front of me. It's nothing. Much. We have to nail Cunningham. He must still be lurking somewhere nearby. Hello. 
just want to free fun! Just about everything, duh. It's a morgue, silly. This <laughs> is oi! Yeah, where they keep the stiffs. Illbleed is full of dead bodies. More than a hundred visitors die in this park every day. This is where the bodies get burned and forgotten. It's not exactly the high point of the park. <laughs> I hear ya. It's like a cold mist. Get a load of that! Jason was right. Well, that's because... Mm... Who's that? I hear you. Come out with your hands up. So, it's you guys, you dirty rats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see. You're here to get my money. <laughs> no, you can't do this. <laughs> There's 50,000 dead bodies here. What's a few more bodies? Nothing like being part of a crowd, eh? <laughs> please, please don't shoot me. Don't waste your breath, buddy. Nothing phases me. Scott, Jeff, Martin. These workers were all killed by the spirits of dead visitors. They possess a killer man's body and use him to carry out the kills. Except for the second murder of Cunningham. Cunningham tried to frame Jason for the deed so he could grab the award money when no one was looking. Unfortunately, Jason discovered Cunningham's killer man costume with its sensor removed. So Cunningham decided to kill Jason who managed to survive the attack. That explains why Jason's attacker moved differently and used a different weapon than the other Killer Man spirits. It was Cunningham in the Killer Man disguise. The tables were turned when the spirits of the dead visitors got the best of the impersonator. Ill bleed. What a scary place. But what is more scary is how a human soul can be so full of hate and anger. Yes, if I can make it home alive, the headline will be Revealed the Real Culprits Behind a Homicidal Theme Park. <laughs> of course, you saved my life. <laughs> ah, this mysterious theme park, Illbleed. Our investigation is almost over. The Michael Reynolds Museum is nearby. Let's go.